Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Thailand and welcome to Worm Bin Weekends Week 20. Now, it might be the big 2-0 for bins 2 and 3, but for bin 1, it's only week 2. And because of that tonight, it's going to get a full whack of my um, sifted compost along with some crushed up powderized toasted eggshell that I mix together on a regular basis when I give them grit like this. So we're going to be putting that into bin 1, amending the uh, materials that are already in there to try to hopefully get things balanced out. And this is probably going to be a regular thing over these next couple of weeks. Bin 1 is definitely going to become the biggest bin. Now it doesn't have the most amount of worms, but the materials, yeah, it's, it's getting rather large and it's getting rather heavy. So I'm going to try to see if I can't get it balanced out over these next couple of weeks because bins 2 and bins 3, or bins 2 and 3 I should say, um, they should be ready to harvest within the next five weeks. That's my goal. And the lids have been staying off of them for this whole time. So my hope is, is that we're finally going to have some drier materials to be able to harvest from. Now, weather-wise here in Northern Thailand, it's been kind of crazy. We've had 85 degree days in the daytime and 50 degree nights at nighttime, a 30 to 35 degree swing in Fahrenheit. And I have no idea what effect that's gonna have or has had on the worms to this point, but there's only one way to find out and that's to check them out. So let's go do it. All right, week 20, bin one. Let's dig in and see how things are going. A lot of fruit flies, or bacteria flies, or fungus gnats, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you may recall from week 19, I did put some additional bedding up on top here. So, looks like got some, uh, wow, there's a lot of flies. I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera or not, if it's coming through, but we've got a lot of flies. Um, Looks like there's a lot of indentation here in the bedding, and I'm wondering if that corresponds with worms having started to dig down into this, or what's going on here? I don't know. I don't see any at the top on this side like it did last week, so um, I should also mention there was about a half dozen escapees that I just popped in right now before I started to film. Uh, so they may be on the top over here, but the uh, material, oh, there's a worm right there. It's, uh, no, let's dig in and see what's going on. Okay, now it's, uh, Definitely stiffened up quite a bit. This is more like cake now. I mean, it's uh, it has the consistency of something uh, still kind of warm too. Not too many smells, but a lot of fly larvae and a lot of flies. Um, I don't see any worms down in the materials though. So. I think what it's time to do, yeah, there's there's definitely some heat in here though. Um, let me see. If I can get a reading. Ninety-two degrees in there. And this is at the bottom. Eighty-seven here at the top. So it's still warm from the rice. Definitely, but I knew it wasn't going to go mesophilic or anything. I mean, excuse me, thermophilic at the point that it was at, but it's, uh, it is warm. And with this being so cold at night, I'm not too worried about it. No worms to really speak of down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these, uh, let's take some of these materials and I'm going to be mixing in um, a lot of grit because that's what's really needed right now to kind of help balance this out is just some grit because oof. yeah these are uh these are warm 93 so here we go this is uh my sifted compost with some crushed up powderized toasted eggshell and this will just provide 
what's really missing in the way of just being able to work through these materials for the worms. This stuff is really mushy, it's really nasty. And it's gonna be this way for a while. Um, it's gonna take some time to balance this out, but it eventually will. I wanted to put some bedding in here, but right now, as thick as this stuff is, I think the thing that's really needed right now is just the grid. The thing of it is, I didn't see any worms in there. So they're probably still on the top and apparently, maybe they're still congregated together or maybe they just evac the bin because like I said, I found a half dozen just a bit ago. Uh, I found a half dozen just a bit ago over the water tub so it could very well be that they just, uh, haven't done. They haven't moved since last time we checked in on them. I don't know. We'll take a look and see. Let's go take a look at the other half here. Yeah, I don't see any worms. To be honest with you. Not even the ones that I just got through putting back in here. may have brought bin one back into service a little bit too soon. And the sad thing about that is, I mean, I put 200 worms in here. And the only worms I've seen were the half dozen that I pulled out of the water tub for this bin. Uh, there are no worms here unless they've dug in and I'm just missing them which is possible I think I think things are just still too hot I think the rice is still just very warm it doesn't feel warm over here though Maybe it's a... no actually it does So it's still, I mean, African night crawlers can tolerate heat, but not for extended periods of time like that. Um, I would have thought they would have still probably populated up here at the top if they weren't wanting to dig down, but maybe, maybe they just left the bin and went into the water tub and went elsewhere. That's possible. And the bins are right next to each other. I, uh, I saw, I think, all of one worm so far, aside from the half dozen or so that I pulled out of the water tub. So I think what I may do is I may just give this time to just cool down on its own before I put any more worms back in. And we'll, uh, we'll go from there because this just is... Uh, it's eventually going to balance out, but it's going to take time, and the time that I need for it to, uh, to do that with is probably best unpopulated. Yeah. It's got, a, it's got a bit of a rank smell, and you know it's warm still, so I think putting in the crushed up powderized eggshell and, and uh, compost is probably the best thing I can do right now just to kind of try to start balancing it out again. The... Um, the materials are obviously, I mean, you can see they're a lot drier, but they're still very warm. So this kind of mixing is a, a good thing to do. And I will uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Let me go ahead and throw in some more of this. I was gonna use it all in bin one, but I'm gonna save a little bit of this for bins two and three now as well. And uh, we're just going to, we're going to let this ride. If there are any worms in here, awesome. But I don't believe there are that many. Uh, well, just as I speak. Right there. That's a small juvenile.
we're just gonna let this stuff continue to cool down and once I know for a fact that it's not still heating up I will then repopulate it again and in the meantime whatever worms are in here can continue to you know work on the top area which I think that they will do this guy right back I think that's how we're gonna roll. That's that's what I'll plan to do then. So getting into uh, week 21, you guys aren't gonna see bin one because I'm just gonna to continue to let it cool. I'm gonna monitor the temperature and make sure that it actually is cooling. And uh, then and only then, once I know it's down below, you know, it, at least at ambient temperature to the room or something relatively close, will I go ahead and harvest some more worms from bins two and three to put back in here. But that's it for bin one. Unfortunately, not uh, what I was hoping for, but you know, uh, given the state that this bin was in, um, it's, it's gonna take time, but it's gonna work and I wanna show you how to resurrect a bin like this so that you don't have to just give up the ghost and throw everything out, the baby with the bathwater, so to speak. But I wanna thank you for joining me. If you, uh, if you like the video, I hope you'll both like it and share it. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd really love it if you give consideration to doing that. And, um, hit the bell notification icon if you would so you can be alerted to when I upload new content. Listen, wherever you are in this world today or tonight, you take care. Bye for now.